Hey there, what is going on guys? FMU here and we're here for another episode of this good old Hinkley FC save. So it's the beginning of a new season. Today we're going to focus on transfers. We're going to try bolstering the squad and maybe moving a few players on. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video focusing on players coming in, coming out and shaking it all about really. So you'll see me just popping in and out every now and again to uh, slap a few transfer details right in your face. The first bit of business has been done, the old flowers, and it is Johnny Wright leaving the club. Uh, the 31 year old has joined North Lee on a free transfer. Um, he was a really good, you know, decent player for us. Um, you know, when when he first came along, but you know, his his opportunities became lesser and lesser and he wasn't playing up top, he was playing on the wing and all that sort of stuff. But uh, he was very, you know, very instrumental in helping us get out of the Spartan South Midlands Premier Division. Um, and he made a few, you know, he had a few cameo appearances last year. But he's staying in that division, so hopefully he'll do well for North Lee uh, this season. And a bit of an extra bonus... Uh, Kyle Hawkins, the former West Brom trainee, has signed a new contract. So uh, he's well. It says new deal. It's just a non-contract deal, really. But uh, he's probably just getting better, um, you know, better f playing fees and you know uh, goals fees and clean sheet fees and all that gubbins. We were very, very close. Very close to securing Ian Hart, but he's decided to go to Stalybridge instead. They've offered him 550k, uh, 550k, 550 pounds a week. Uh, we just couldn't quite uh, match up to that. And also, he's playing at a higher level. He's playing at the Vanarama Conference North with them. So, uh, kind of in a way, understandable as to why he's moved off up there. We are not having much luck in the freaking slightest. But to be honest with you, Kidderminster are playing at a much higher level than us. They are a Vanarama Conference a team and uh, a decent one at that. So kind of not really surprised that he's chose to go to them. They can offer a lot better wages than we can. But Cody Lyons Foster was somebody that, first of all, I didn't realise, but my director of football was looking at him and I spotted him when I was looking for some transfers. Uh, and he was available on a free, but he's gone to Kidderminster, former Aston Villa trainee. He's played in the conference, um, a couple of seasons about on loan so you know another one bites the dust but we're carrying on we're plugging away you know we're trying we've got uh, Ross Atkinson he's joining us um, he's joining At Atkinson Ross Atkins is joining us when the transfer window opens former Derby goalkeeper so um, you know he's got some experience he's played at a good level um uh, play throughout the football league so you know he's got a bit of decency it is a locker we've also offered this young man chris jordan a contract uh he's a former swindon player was in the varnarama south on loan at haventon waterlooville last season so you know he's used to playing at a higher level than what we're at and these guys are just the outs but uh, we'll carry on looking guys and hopefully we'll be able to snag ourselves a blooming player soon <laughs> huzzah it's happened chris jordan has joined us the former swindon trainee he's joined until the end of the season for a deal worth 230 pounds a week before tax he's a, a short guy you know he's a little bit diminutive he's five foot six um you know, but he does have some fantastic attributes to him. You know, his work rate is high, his teamwork is high, his uh, positioning and off the ball are both in double figures. Uh, bravery and composure, two very, very big um, 
attributes to have especially in the lower levels determination could do with being a little bit higher but we won't worry about that good passing good tackling and a decent technique free kicks and headers not bad balance and natural fitness also pretty decent so he could be you know he could do quite well and like i say he's played in the uh conference south so he's got league experience at the lower levels so hopefully that will shine through for us uh in the coming season just one quick bit of news we've decided to let adam wikes leave on a free transfer uh great servant for me since returning to hinkley um did really well <clears throat> after signing for Loughborough Dynamo and uh, we wish him well in the future I'm sure as fans of this save we all want to see the ex-players do well unless they've been idiots then we don't we've completed another signing we've brought in Jerome Okimo he was at Harrow last season we got him on a free transfer after he appeared in the trialist game uh, we made a move for him and he's come in could play left wing back or left midfielder and um, I think he could fit in independent on if we swap formations around and play win backs and stuff. He could be dangerous fairly quick. Not the best defensive skills, but I'm prepared to give him a bit of a chance. Uh, like I say, played in the Ishmael, Ishmael <laughs> Premier Division last season for Harrow. Um, 15 games, did okay. Season before in the... Uh, uh, the haven't and water waterlooville team in the vanarama conference south and the season before that he was at stevenage on loan at hayes and yedung so hopefully he'll do a good job for us now this isn't transfer news from us but do you remember this guy matthew wallace i showed you him last season and said i looked at him and thought he could do something look at his freaking stats He's gone away for like a pre-season and he's come back and he looks decent and I was just having a look at him and I was thinking maybe I could throw a cheeky bid that way and uh, nab him away, right? So I went in, okay, contract offer, nothing there. Uh, look, you, what is it, sorry, contract offer. You can offer uh, a contract for this player, you must transfer, accept, offer, accept. Okay, look. Swansea, Norwich, Newcastle, Southampton, so uh, Stoke, and West Ham. Uh, could we? I'm going to suggest it. I'm going to see if we could perhaps, perhaps pull off one hell of a deal here. But we'll see. Bear with me and we'll see what comes up. It was a short-lived pipe dream. <laughs> they accepted the offer, but he was like, no, thank you. He will not relocate to the beautiful town of Hinkley over the Premier League's, some of the Premier League's finer sides. So, hey-ho, there you go. The search for players continues. Oh. Oh. oh, right. Now, if you were to skip back in the video a second, it said talk to Wallace, okay? So I talked to Wallace and uh, I said, it was the bottom option, and I said, I'm not going to waste your time, dude. I'd, we'd love for you to come here. That's it. And he was like, I'm happy where I am. And uh, I then replied okay but we'd love you you know we would love to have signed you to go on and challenge for a trophy this season and then which shocked the shite out of me he turned around and went okay this sounds like a proposal that deserves a bit more consideration so we are now he, this is awesome i've never had that happen i've never had a player change his mind you know, and I'm wondering if it's the prospect of first team football. I mean, yes, he will get more money in the Premier League. Yes, you know, he will probably go on and be a much bigger player. But is he one of these players? Is this embedded in the game where he will come here for a season, two, three, then move on to bigger and better things? So 
I'm prepared to offer him a little bit more and then I've got to go and beg my board to uh, give me the transfer money. But I'm going to worry about the contract first. So he is in <laughs> very reputable clubs such as Swansea. So he's going to be getting off of thousands. So I'm going to offer him <laughs> 275 pounds. Suggest? Okay. So he's happy with the deal that's been offered so now we have to wait and see if he would rather he may stay where he is they very often do he may stay where he is does he want to move up the non-league pyramid and get first team football or does he want to move to the under 80s 19s and under 21s of a premier league club and get loaned out probably for the next five seasons or whatever we'll find out in a second i guess well, look at that. That has restored my faith in football today. <laughs> he is turning, it hasn't said there, you know, um, but he's rejected the Premier League to come to us and it says here look Wallace believes that Hinkley FC's plans for him are perfect are a perfect match for his to his current aspirations now I also said to the board this is a big transfer we need to get this guy and God bless our Mohican bearing chairman he went right on sister and he he gave us nine thousand pounds or like eight thousand six hundred and seventy two pounds and thirty nine and a half pence whatever stupid thing it says and um we're gonna do it we are going to bring this guy in wait for it record signing he is the first player we have ever spent money on speak to Quinn as captain welcome him make him feel like freaking Jesus so look at that is beautiful that is absolutely beautiful can play up front, but look at that oh my god i need to so hang on. i need to sort my sizing out i've changed skin to uh is it alavanger algevanger or something i can't remember i can never pronounce it properly and it squashes every it squashed everything in our oh, kiddo welcome he has a few injuries last season went out on loan didn't do magnificently but my god we have taken him from under the noses of Swansea Stoke West Ham Newcastle Southampton Crystal Palace QPR they were all looking at him that is proper messed up let's oops let's I'll tell you one thing I wanted yeah it's the uh Alavanger 15 Pro iGasm 1.1 this one is. Uh -huh. um, windowed. I might have to go to 75%. Let's have a look at that, shall we? It's going to be tiny. It's going to be tiny. But let's have a wee look at it. Nah, it's not too bad. I quite, I could cope with that. Oh, it's changed the bloody background again. I'll do. So, I'm going to call this there, guys, because that is that has blown me away. I have never, in all my days on Football Manager, had a player be like, no, not interested, to suddenly go in. You've got 
you are offering to play me you know you were offering me you know he it, it, it just the way he replied i wonder if you can interaction conversations can we not see all of it yes here it is look here it is guys look you wanted to see me calmly i won't waste your time here we'd love to have you join our club and have the utmost respect and admiration for your talent to which he replies i'm happy where i am i calmly reply we'd love you to consider joining hinkley and help us to win a trophy or two in the future to which he replied it's a challenge that deserves further consideration why are you abysmal is it because you suddenly thought, oh crap, I've just turned down about three grand a week at Swansea to come to Hinkley for £275 a week? <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. But do not worry, my young friend, we will get you up and running. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please drop a like on the video, subscribe, comment, do all those amazing things. And we will hopefully see you again and hopefully some new people and some of the old people as well. Thanks very much, guys. Goodbye.